Hey, what's up guys, Mario, back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, I am gonna talk about Ethermon and I'm gonna go over three different possible sources of income playing the Ethermon game. Uh, now, they do involve uh, selling NFTs, they do involve battling and earning or play to earn type of income. And the other one is actually through the central land. So I'm gonna go over all the specific details on how to do that. Now, I have actually earned some uh, Iman, uh, which I could convert to US dollars. Uh, and I'm going to tell you how I did that. Uh, but I'm also going to go over the other types of income sources that you could also do. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask down below the YouTube comments. And also, please support this channel and smash that like button and subscribe down below in the YouTube comments, uh, excuse me, this, to this YouTube channel. I, will, I do post videos every single week talking about Ethermon, NFTs, stocks, etc. Uh, so don't miss my next video. All right, guys. So, hey, let me uh, share my screen, guys, and let's get started, okay? So what I'm going to do really quick, guys, I am going to share my screen. Uh, so what I want to show you guys is the three possible ways to earn income uh, using uh, playing the Ethermon game. So I've already logged into Ethermon. Uh, the first way and the easiest way right now is actually to do the battling uh, through the uh, battle ladder number five. So you could win Iman per win. So you can actually win 0.5 Iman per win. Uh, so every single battle, you have the opportunity to win. You do get uh, around 20 energy uh, per, per battle. Uh, now I have actually, for this tournament, which is, uh, is around five days, I've won 36 times. So if you multiply 36 times uh, 0.5, I did win 18 Iman tokens. Now, in terms of how much the Iman token is worth, uh, that is actually quite simple. All I have to do is go to CoinGecko and just type in Iman to get an, uh, a sense of how much each Iman token is worth. So right now, the Iman tokens are worth 22 cents. So each Iman token is worth 22 cents. Now, each battle ladder does take around five days. And again, I didn't do so well. There's some people that have done a lot better than me, but your win rate could be a lot better. So the other possible way, of course, there's other battle ladders. There's one, two, three, four, five total. Uh, so you could also battle in this uh, beginner's one as well. Uh, there's total rewards of 1,000 Iman. So if you kind of multiply 1,000 Iman times 0.22 cents, again, that's $220 possibility income that you could earn. Uh, now, again, keep in mind, guys, that the, the Iman is a token which you will have to convert to US dollars or other currency, um, you know, if you want, of course, you can say cash in, things like that. So I just want to keep, keep you guys in mind. And if you don't, you just keep it as an Iman token. So, you know, um, you could use uh, platforms like Coinbase uh, to transfer. So if you do earn some uh, Iman token or whatever the case may be, you could transfer Iman token. Now, actually, let me show you guys my wallet because uh, I do have some Iman in my, in my MetaMask wallet. Uh, in the Matic network. So I can, all I have to do is transfer this Iman to um, a Coinbase account or other exchange. And then from there, I could sell it and turn it into US dollars or any other national currency. So again, that's something you could do. So I want to make sure I, I kind of bring that up. So um, the other income source possibility, of course, is to get the Iman Monster NFTs. Right now, I do own 28 uh, Imans, uh, some are off chain, some are Matic, uh, you know, and, uh, actually a lot of them, most of them I got for free. Uh, they're currently not for free. Uh, and some actually I battle and won them. So I did win like three for battling and I actually bought some as well. So, um, in terms of getting Iman, of course, you go to the starter store. If you want to purchase some, you could buy them here at the store, or you could buy them on open sea. And you can sell them on OpenSea. So as you guys can see, these are for sale. Uh, and you can use uh, Rapid Ethereum to buy these. The Mad, uh, using the Matter Network is usually what they, they like to do. So in terms of how to make, I guess you could say, your, your second source of income uh, using Ethermon, is to sell your NFTs. Now, right now, I have two for sale. I have this, uh, this Ethermon right here, Hamster, that I'm selling for 0 0.5 Ethereum. And I also have this Navi Cloud I'm selling for 0 0.5 Ethereum. Uh, who knows? They may sell, may may not sell. I do have them out there. Um, if I do want it to get sold, mostly I have to reduce the price, but I just have it there out there to see what happens. 
Uh, but in terms of knowing how you can sell your Ethermon, is actually uh, by going to the Ethermon on OpenSea. And uh, what I like to usually do is go over here and click the most recent sold. Uh, so let's kind of wait for that to kind of load up. So recently sold to kind of get a neat idea of how much are these selling for. So if you just can see this one sold recently for 0 0.0003, 0 0.003, 0 0.0003. Um, actually this one sold for 0 0.015. Uh, this one sold for 0 0.3797. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't show you exactly which one it is, which NFT it is. Uh, so you guys can see now, you guys could flip these as well. You could buy some of these and try to sell them for higher. Uh, I know some people do flip uh, these NFTs. These are NFTs, guys. These are assets. So you could do that as well. Now, in terms of uh, knowing how much uh, kind of converting these Ethereum to kind of know how much that is in terms of dollars. Uh, very, very simple, guys. I already have a converter here. Let me uh, use a converter really quickly. So for example, um, this one, this one sold for uh, 0.003. So let's kind of see what 0.003, see what that is in US dollars. So it's about a dollar, a dollar, pretty much a US, one US dollar. Uh, so, I mean, some people do flip NFTs. They do buy them and then they flip them. For example, this one was sold for 0.003. And now you have this one, for example, I just saw it right now, uh, selling for 0.006. So which around will be, I guess, around two US dollars. So again, um, that's another possible way to earn income through the Ethermon uh, game platform uh, by flipping these. Uh, you could also train these and level them up and they're usually worth more when they have a higher level. The way to know uh, what levels they are is, for example, this one recently sold for 0 0.003 is that if you click on the Ethermon, if you look at the levels, this is how you know what level they are. You know, this is DCL level means a central line level, um, off chain level, and there's also on chain level. So you want to keep sure there's so there's three levels on it, you know. So always keep that in mind. Now you could battle these on the Ethermount platform, increase their levels, whether it be in the central land or whether it be in the Ethermount platform website. Uh, so you could also level them up so you could sell them for a higher price. So that's another thing you want to keep in mind, guys. So um, I also want to go over, now what I want to do is kind of go over the third way uh, that people actually um, can make an income on the Ethermon platform. And that's through this being a Decentraland landowner. So if you do own some land, which is an NFT in Decentraland, you could buy these assets to earn some income. So for example, these are meta, these are NFTs that you could buy and you could actually sell some stuff. So for example, this nest egg is actually probably one of the most common ones that people do use. So if you buy this nest egg, you could actually put this nest egg in your land, in the central land, and pretty much every time an egg is sold, the host, which will be you if you're the landowner, you will get 20% of, of whatever is sold in the nest egg. Now there is a revenue split. So the creator does get 60%, the host gets 20% and the platform, which is the central line gets 20%. Uh, so just wanna make sure you, you, you keep that in mind. Now, again, in the future of this may be negotiated. So we'll see. Now it does cost 20,000 mana, but there is a 47% discount right now. Uh, so all you have to do is you know, figure out how much mana is worth. Uh, and actually, let me show you guys an example of how that works. Let me actually log in right now to the, the central land um, Ethereum, excuse me, uh, the central land uh, Ethermon uh, area garden bed. So I can kind of show you, give you an idea how that works. Uh, so again, you have to, you do have to be a landowner, uh, own some virtual real estate in the central land in order for you to participate in this. But I just wanted to quickly mention that that was another possibility. That was another th third source of possible income if you play the Decentraland, you know, game, Decentraland uh, platform. So, uh, so let's wait for this to kind of load. Now, it does take a little bit of a while just because I am recording. And then when you try to log into the Decentraland, it's quite slow. That's just how the system works. But let's just give it a couple minutes. Um, or a couple seconds. Hopefully this doesn't take as long as 
I think it's going to take, but we'll see. We'll just kind of wait. Oh, there you go. All right. So what I'm going to show you guys is how it looks in the central land. Uh, many of you, many of you guys have probably already played in the central land, either battle inside the central land or uh, went out digging for, for, for vegetables in the central land um, or even maybe possibly bought some eggs in the central land. So this is pretty much how it looks like. So if you do own some land in the central land, which again, you will have to purchase as an NFT, you could create this, you could possibly be, this could be possibly a income producing property. Uh, you could turn your, your land, your virtual real estate into an income producing property just by buying the eggs or excuse me, buying the, the nest eggs and even possibly buying uh, this garden bed, you know, which allows uh, players to, you know, to plant their seeds, you know, that they collected. So for example, guys, I'm going to show you guys really quick how this looks like. So if you were to own, for example, this land, if you own any land in the central land, you know, you could put this garden bed, you could put this wild grass. When you add wild grass to your land, these ethermon, these wild grass ethermon or grass slime ethermon do show up which of course brings and attracts Ethermon players, you know, to your land so they can battle. So once you have Ethermon players in your land, of course, you know, you could have the opportunity to make some additional income. So this is for example, an example, this is a nest egg. So right now, as you guys can see, I could buy an, an egg which could hatch and it gives me the probability of either getting a 25% or 30% probability or 20% probability, 25%. So pretty much, the opportunity to get any of these four ethermon once it hatches. Now it does it does cost a thousand mana to buy one of these eggs. So for example, if you own the property, if you own the land and you have one of these nest eggs um, in your land, and somebody, an ethermon player, buys these one of these eggs, you will get 20% of that, which is, I guess you could say 200 uh, mana. Now, these, of course, the percentages may change in the future. That is something that may even up to negotiation. So, uh, you know, that's something that I wanted to quickly mention, guys. So uh, let me just log out of here just because it's very, very slow. Uh, all right, fine, logged out. So, and all the information is here. Again, if you have more questions or you want more information about this, definitely visit matazone.com. Uh, again, you can just click here on the Ethermon website uh, and you will learn more information, guys. So um, wanted to, you know, kind of just bring that up, guys. Um, so hopefully all that makes sense. Again, guys, I uh, just wanted to quickly cover in this video three possible ways of possible income sources in uh, Ethermon, uh, playing the Ethermon game. Again, all these videos are for learning to tame your purposes. Don't forget that. If you have any questions or concerns, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comment, guys. Again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel, to this YouTube channel down below. And you don't miss my next video. All right, guys, you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.